Good morning, friends. Well, at least it's morning at the moment. I, as you can see, I'm fully uh, vested, having just completed uh, our Sunday morning mass uh, here at the cathedral, uh, and I'm you're presently in the in the sacristy of the cathedral in my sacristy. Now, I've remained all dressed uh, this week for a reason, and that is because tomorrow, the 29th of June, the Monday, is the great feast of St. Peter and Paul. And this is a really one of the, the, the great feasts of the year, marking those two uh, extraordinary apostles of, uh, of the beginnings of our church. Um, Paul, who is the missionary into uh, the Gentile part of the world, Peter, who carried the responsibility of being uh, the one who held the keys as the, as the images of, of the life of the church, the first pope, uh, and, and so on. I'm making mention of all of this is because uh, of something I'm wearing at the moment, and it's this, this uh, white band of uh, wool, uh, which is called a pallium. And I received this pallium on the feast of St. Peter and Paul a year ago uh, in Rome uh, from our current Pope, Pope Francis. And this particular garment is only worn by metropolitan archbishops. And what that means is that uh, we have a province of dioceses here in Victoria and everywhere in the world is made up of provinces of dioceses. And our province is the Archdiocese of Melbourne, the Diocese of Sale, the Diocese of Sandhurst, and the Diocese of Ballarat. And those four dioceses form the province of uh, Victoria. And as Archbishop of Melbourne, I have a, a particular responsibility as metropolitan in terms of the province. And it, it's, a, it's a leadership role that uh, I have amongst the, my brother bishops. I don't have any authority over them. I'm not talking about that sort of thing, but in terms of uh, a sense of a pastoral uh, responsibility that is for all of us. So I just thought I'd take the opportunity while I'm all dressed up, you know, I've got my mitre and got my crozier here and the ring, which is a sign of my office. But this particular one, the pallium, is the sign of my office as uh, the uh, Metropolitan Archbishop of Melbourne. Again, I thought I'd share this with you today because also today happens to be a sad day to one extent in that... Uh, Today, our own auxiliary bishop, one of the assistant bishops in our Archdiocese of Melbourne, Bishop Mark Edwards, is leaving us. And he's going to become the Bishop of Wagga Wagga Diocese in New South Wales. And he's leaving uh, to travel to uh, Wagga uh, today. So it's a, it's a sad moment for him. He's been a wonderful uh, shepherd and auxiliary bishop here in our Melbourne Archdiocese for the last uh, five and a half years. And in that role, he's especially been responsible for the uh, re Western region of our diocese. So like Geelong and in around Bacchus Marsh and uh, up into the um, Northwestern parts, uh, Irland Keelor and, uh, nor and North even into those areas. So just, uh, I want to acknowledge and thank and ask for your prayers for uh, Bishop Mark as he makes his way to Wagga and takes up the responsibility of the shepherding of his own diocese now in Wagga Wagga. There's also another tinge of sadness for me today because a great friend of mine, um, Monsignor Greg Bennett, in a good thing, yesterday was announced as the new Bishop of Sale Diocese. And this is a tremendously uh, uh, wonderful uh, moment in the life of, of their local church of Sale uh, that they, their new bishop has been announced. It's happened very quickly. It's not normally this quickly, but it's happened. Uh, and, it, and it's a tremendously good move. Monsignor Greg Bennett 
uh, would be known to many in our Archdiocese of Melbourne. He was Vicar General for many years and he's just currently the moderator of the parishes in and around uh, uh, Brunswick. Uh, but he will now move to sale in, in the next uh, month or so and uh, we wish him our good, uh, good care and our love uh, as he makes this great move. The Lord, I know, will be with him in a special way. The Lord will be with uh, the people of Sale uh, as, as they welcome their new bishop. Sad for us, though, because we lose, lose one of our great priests of the Archdiocese. So just wanted to uh, share that little bit of information with you today and uh, to continue to offer you my prayer and support and care um, in your own circumstances at home. Until next week, goodbye.